So hello my friends, today I have this Nikon 105 f2.5 which I think uh, it doesn't need any introduction at all and then um, the subjective, uh, well it has no fungus, it has no oil in the blades uh, and the focus works perfectly so you would say to me what is the problem? But I think you have already noticed. You have here this really, really ugly dent, which is uh, killing an otherwise, uh, an otherwise beautiful objective. So, what we're going to do is to remove uh, the front element. Now, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to remove this element to fix it and then I'm going to show you as well how to remove everything to get it clean. So uh, you have uh, two screws here and then one a bit further. So I start by removing the first two elements, the first two screws. are here and then well, I remove the third screw no I will keep it because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, this ring uh, on the front uh, uh to do so um well i actually did it already but uh, then you will need some some force i would say okay so by removing the two screws i'm able to to remove uh, the front ring uh, which is the part we, we actually want to fix so up see I have the part which is really really interesting because it's this way so you have the ring uh, which is inscription and everything which is built in into the objective so now uh, the objective is still whole. The, the, all the the optical elements are still held inside. So with this, I can remove this element, which is the, the shade, and then we have the the tear screw that we didn't remove before, which I'm going to remove now. And then this one allow me to unscrew this element here. Let me join now. And then this element is the one that has the optical assembly here which I can completely remove uh, so you have some dots or whatever inside the objective this is uh, what you need to to open I'm not gonna open because the objective is pretty clean and then if you have um, a, stiff, a stiff focus or whatever uh, this is where uh, you have to work So the problem is very simple. You can just try washing the objective uh, with some uh, lighter fluid. Okay, yeah, I see the helicoil is just here. So it can be cleaned easily. And then otherwise, uh, 
this adjective is pretty robust so I, I don't think uh, you have to, to do anything at all besides uh, yeah besides, besides some just mild thing like uh, um, a dent like we're going to do today or yeah, some stiff focus or uh, some dust inside yeah besides all that uh, this objective is just perfect if I assemble it correctly okay this is not important it's not the scope of what I want to show you so now you know how to disassemble this objective so um, the thing we want to do is to fix this element so to do so uh, I'm going to stop the video and go and get the stuff uh, we're going to use to, to put this thing straight well, not straight actually round and then um, yeah we'll finish the objective thank you okay so uh, welcome back and um, I decided to change a bit my approach and then I did uh, I already made the power round again so this is what I'm showing to you now so yeah I, be, I was a bit careless and then I, I make a small mark here but as you can see the the bended part was here before so yeah it got a lot rounder which is a good thing now we can at least uh, add a filter or whatever to the objective and then now I'm going to show you how I did it so and then if you want and this happened to you and uh, you can implement the solution um, well the best solution for doing this is actually getting a, a bias uh, a lens bias which is uh, the pose of a big bias like this so and then okay so to reproduce the effect uh, of the lens by so what I did is um, just let me put the camera a bit further away uh, and then I refocus and then let me show you what was my idea and then hide work so uh, I wanted to deform uh, the parts from the interior because yeah the indentation was towards the inside so what I did is to take uh, I took this this pipe this piece of pipe that I got in the, yeah, on the supermarket you get this in, into the plumbing uh, part which was almost the same size of the uh, almost the size diameter of this so and then what I did is uh, I put it into a bias and then I started deforming you see it deforms and then the thing is doing is opening in this direction so what I did next, next was to to put the part and the thing I wanted to put uh, uh, the part, uh, yeah, the side I, I wanted to, to deform on, on the side of the, where it's opening. So, and then uh, I started opening the vise. So, this is what I'm showing to you now here. So, here. So, yeah, this is a vise. Uh, it's not fixed to a table so I can move everywhere and then I started rotating so and then the result is uh, 
as I showed to you initially as uh, as the default default defaults I connect and then pushes in this direction so this is one one of the things I did so. and then what I did next was uh, always in the what the size I, I want to deform now I take this element and then I use some tape just to project uh, the objective well not the objective there the paint uh, and then I hold it this way in the formation and then I came the small hammer and then I started hitting just um, just so the the ring um, the ring the ring here is able to take uh, the round shape so I did this repeatedly until I was able to get the bar rounder so and this is how I did it quite simple actually and then the result is uh, well it's not perfect but uh, it's not that nasty thing that we have in the beginning so the objective will look a lot nicer so now we can proceed uh, to put everything together again so let me get the function straight the position so we put again the shade which is here and then the part just fix well, getting screwing right is uh, not very straightforward and then once you get it in I will get I'm going to screw this and then I will go back to the video thing is uh, since we deformed it a, a bit so the screwing is not super easy but so it's going to take uh, a few seconds so I'll come back so hello friends I, I am back uh, I was able to put this this top part which was a bit overlaid so it was a bit difficult to put but otherwise uh, we were able to make it more circular than before which is nice well aesthetically i prefer that just having this big dent in the front so thanks for watching hope you have enjoyed it and i hope that you don't have to uplink what we did today because yeah it's not nice and then uh, have a great day bye